Hi, I'm Steve from JPS Electrical Services. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a PIR outside light. I'm working in a little village called Winford today, and the noise you can hear in the background are the bells from the church. Obviously, practicing their bell ringing, and what a beautiful noise it is, too. Um, we're also close to uh, Lowsgate Airport, Bristol Airport, so I'm not going to be surprised if a plane comes in and crosses our path, so hopefully I'll be able to edit that out. So this is the old PIR sense of light that I've been asked to replace, and we've got an up-down light uh, with a PIR sensor on it that I'm going to show you how to set it up now. <laughs> It's cloudy today. Apparently this is one of the worst airports to land an aeroplane at. Here's the light I've been asked to install. As you can see, it's got a light on the top and a light on the bottom, and there's our PIR sensor. Um, the existing wiring I had to work with, it comes through there. If I was doing this, I would do it a completely different way, but I'm just here today to set up the, uh, install and set up the new PIR sensor light. So you look at the sensor, and on this one you'll notice there's a small flap that we need to drop down. This gives us access now to the settings. So on this side we've got the Lux sensor. This one in the middle is the sensitivity sensor. And this one on the left is the time. And it's dead simple. To decrease, uh, decrease the setting you twist it turn it anti-clockwise and to increase the setting you turn it clockwise so all you need is a small flathead screwdriver on this one so first of all we want to see the light working there we go now don't go adjusting the lux sensor until you've done your walkthrough test with the sensitivity and the range um, once you set the Lux sensor, uh, it will only work for whatever light setting you've set it to, i.e. darkness. So that's the last one that we do. So the, f the first one I'm going to do is the sensitivity, and we're going to have that up at maximum. This is a really dark village on a night time. Um, so we're, yeah, we're going to have it on maximum setting. that you turn the electric back off when altering the adjustments so we're going to start with the sensitivity so a small flathead screwdriver just sat that in the groove there and we're going to turn that clockwise so that we get the maximum maximum sensitivity so there we go the next one is time and this that's on the left hand side there on these I normally just give it like a quarter turn and then for our Lux I go all the way around and then back a quarter turn. Put your flap back up and there's another aeroplane coming, bear with me a second. In order to check the sensitivity, what we're going to do is walk from whichever angle towards the light just to make sure that it triggers and that it stays on for the, the amount of time that you want it set up for. Remember, a lot of areas have cats and foxes. Um, if you have it too short of a, a time, it's going to be constantly flashing, which is going to cause a bother for your neighbours. So it's important to make sure that you get it set for the right amount of time so that you can be alerted to it going off but it's not going to be flashing on and off all the time 
uh, because people will just ignore it and they'll probably end up ignoring you in the future as well. through tests and that's that's picking up perfectly i hope this video has been of use to you if it has please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you next week